Hey everyone, Hurricane Liz here, and I'm back. And today I've got a real good special for you all. I know a lot of people love these success stories, and I've got a success story that I actually met at the Amazon Innovators Hackathon that we were just at at Cabo San Lucas. And I'll say this much, I just got back. I still got bags under my eyes. I got clothes <laughs> all over the place. I'm still a little hungover from that actual trip because it was so much fun. And I'm pretty sure he is too because he was out there networking and doing all that he could so that he can improve his Amazon business. And so today we're gonna have an interview with a young man who I'm about to introduce here. Um, I know more as Zan the man uh, because of the fact that every single mastermind he's gone to, he's been out in the trenches giving information and helping people improve their lives and improve their Amazon business. And that's why I asked him to come on here and answer questions that I came up with. And again, I apologize that I'm moving about a snail's pace here, but let's face it, we had fun in Cabo. Did we not, Zan? Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. And, and Liz, hats off to you. Hats off to, to Howard and everybody else that helped set that uh, event up. You guys never disappoint. So amazing, amazing, seriously. Amazing. And I think the one greatest thing is I kind of like prefaced before we had this actual conversation. I told him one question that I was going to ask because I think Zan can agree. A lot of Amazon sellers get really defensive about this, Zan. But yeah. I told you I was <laughs> going to sure. ask you, can you tell everybody out there, what product do you sell? And I know I, I was going to say I was kidding, but then you told me you didn't have a problem actually telling people one of the products that you actually sell. Yeah, for sure. So one of the products we sell is the derma roller. Um, and we've been selling that for a very long time, like a ridiculously long time, almost, almost three years now. Um, and we've maintained our positioning. It's been kind of like a war zone. Um, but when you know how to rank and you, you really know the platform well, especially going to the, the events that we do, um, it's pretty hard for anybody to beat you out. So, um, invest yeah, three, in yourself, that's, right? that's impressive. Cause you probably jumped into the derma roller at a time when most people were like, screw that. I'm not going to jump into this shit. It's way too competitive. But again, kind of shows you're young, you're hungry. And you said, screw this. I'm going to figure out how to rank this. And I'm going to do this. Is, is that about right? Yeah, no. Yeah. So actually, funny enough, most of the products I've gone into are ridiculously uh, competitive, like monster, monster listings. Um, they've got thousands of reviews. Uh, some obviously some sort of manipulation going on for some of the reviews that you're looking at and stuff like that. But what my strategy has always been is honestly getting in, ranking up quickly, having a lot of healthy sales volume. Cause you know, we talked a lot about, about this, but like I have a really big background in Facebook ads. So I know how to like actually push traffic and make people buy things. Um, and then what we'll usually do is, you know, grab the Amazon's choice badge, which uh, a lot of people don't really know how to do. And they don't even know why the Amazon choice badge is there. But once you do it, it's crazy. Like you could literally have like 10 reviews and your competition might have like a 2000 above you, 10,000 below you. And if you have the Amazon's choice badge, you're fine. You know, you're golden. You'll, you'll compete well. Yeah. So let me get this straight, Zan, just for the people out there that don't know what the Amazon's choice badge is. I could be like lounging around in my bathtub with what is it? Alexa on. And I basically yeah. say, Alexa, I want a derma roller and she's yeah. going to put your derma roller in the cart. Is that about right? Exactly. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know about this. You obviously do. Um, the, the Amazon's choice badge comes from Alexa searches. So what will happen is whatever um, listing is indexed best for what Alexa is looking for. And if Alexa has actually put your product in the cart enough times, um, you'll actually get the Amazon's choice badge. So when you're on mobile or desktop, when you're scrolling through, you'll see the little Amazon's choice badge. We've helped like tons of people get it. And almost every one of my products has it. And then on top of that, yeah, of course. When you're, you know, let's say you're in the bathtub or whatever, hanging out, you say, Alexa, hey, like, I want this. Alexa will just go ahead and put that in, in your cart. Yeah. That's awesome. I'll, I'll keep that in mind tonight when I order yeah. some more cigars and some wine for the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Zan, I know we kind of jumped in. I was excited to tell people about your product, but let's give people some background. How old are you? I know you're, you're not, you won't get touchy about it. I know if we have some girls on here, they're like, oh, don't ask me my age. But how old are you? Where are you from? And how long have you been selling on Amazon? For sure. So uh, I'm 22 years old. Um, I actually started selling online about six, six and a half years ago and Amazon about four, four and a half years ago. So, um, and the reason I kind of shifted over is because I was doing really well on Shopify drop shipping, but as, as many of you know, the shipping times, especially if you're shipping from China are like, you know, 20 days. And if you're selling in the U.S. market, that doesn't really fly with a lot of customers. And so the, the time I actually finally was like, fuck this, I'm out. I, I, I'll do Shopify dropshipping, but it's not going to be where I'm really going to stick. 
I'm always going to try and do third party fulfillment. Um, it was Christmas time. I actually sold something like, I don't know, it was, it was like well over a hundred thousand dollars worth of product. Um, and I was shipping that out. It was actually reusable grocery bags <laughs> and, um, a bunch of people bought them for, for Christmas. Like they were all obviously Christmas gifts and the supplier ended up shipping all the product to my house instead of my customers. And I had like 18 days left or something. It was like the very beginning of December. I had like, you know, 18 days left to get this out. And I was like, fuck this. I'm not ruining Christmas. I go and I ship every single one of those products out individually um, at a $13 loss. Wow. So yeah. So it was, it was like, it was really bad. Um, I got myself into a good amount of debt because of it, but like, you know, whatever, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's life. That's what you kind of have to be open to as an entrepreneur. It's not all, you know, having fun in Cabo and, and meeting a bunch of really cool people. Sometimes that kind of, kind of shit happens. And so when that happened, I mean, I got through it. I was like, whatever. I was still making money through my, through my different stores and stuff. I was like, I'm figuring this shit out. So I went off, I went to Udemy. I bought like a $20 Amazon course, which is like, honestly, looking back at it, a bad idea. Um, but I get in, I learn about Amazon. I'm like, Oh my God, that's so cool. Like you can like buy products, source it and just ship it out. And so back then I, you know, I was obviously paying off all the, all the debt that I got into for selling all that stuff. What I ended up doing was I, I actually sourced my first product. Uh, it was a, it was like a phone accessory back then. And I didn't do any research. They didn't teach you about jungle scout or viral launch or any of those tools out there. I just sourced a product, got it to my doorstep. I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to ship it out to Amazon, uh, shipped it out to Amazon and like literally like nothing didn't sell. Like I was selling like one unit a week. Um, and I'm, I'm from Massachusetts. I actually, this was during, I was, uh, I went to the university of Massachusetts Amherst. So I was out there making no money. Like I was like, well, shit, I just got sold the dream of Amazon making me all this money, but clearly that wasn't the case. And so then I started, actually, I built a Shopify store for my product, started selling it from that store and then having Amazon fulfill it, which a lot of people don't know you can do. You can actually fulfill product from Amazon, from their warehouses without actually having to sell it on their platform. I was making money from there. I got a couple of retail deals, which was cool. Uh, so I got it, the product in over 2,500 stores across the States. Um, and I was still not making any fucking money on Amazon. Like, it was like, I was like, what's going on? And so I ended up paying a ton of money to a bunch of mentors, obviously got lied to by a good amount saying, Hey, well, Hey, I can help you. And you know, they just ran off of my money, but then I found a, a couple good ones and I learned how to rank. And then six weeks into me learning how to rank, I went from selling one unit a day to doing like $50,000 in revenue a month. And so I was like, oh, wow, this is ranking and reviews are literally everything on the platform. And we've talked a lot about that as well. Absolutely. And you know, one of the things that was most painful there, other than finding out that you had to pay $13 extra <laughs> to order was who in the hell gives reusable shopping bags as Christmas gifts. Like, thank God those people are not my relatives not anymore, <laughs> because I would have totally disowned those motherfuckers because I That's sure funny. as hell wouldn't have wanted to get a reusable shopping bag as an actual <laughs> Christmas gift. But I mean, it gives us really a reality of Amazon. And I know that my mom who used to sell with me on Amazon and it passed away since that point. But one of the things that she would always say that still to the state cracks me up is like, who the hell would pay that much for that product? Well, I guarantee you guys and gals out there that haven't sold anything on there, people pay a ridiculous amount for the silliest things on Amazon. So yeah, if you see absolutely. something that you don't think will sell, I think Zan is in agreement here. Do not be shocked that you will get top dollar for things on Amazon. And it's, it's yeah. just a fact. Yeah, so, yeah. All right, a couple things that you mentioned there, Zen. So, like, your was your one of your top months that you earned was over fifty thousand dollars a month. How did that feel? I mean, you're twenty two years old. The average twenty two year old is out there doing, who who knows what? I've got a couple of those in my yeah. office. <laughs> Some of the stories that I hear through the walls are just unbelievable. Yeah. So, um, the most I've actually ever made in a single month on Amazon was about a quarter million. And, uh, that was actually profit. So I was pretty, pretty insane. Um, obviously that was closer during, um, black Friday, cyber Monday that like, obviously if you're selling during Q4, you know what I'm talking about, but yeah, no, back then, I mean, it was literally, it, it really made me realize that money is not the thing I'm chasing anymore. Uh, for a long time, I've been trying to be an entrepreneur since I was like 12, 13. Um, so I fucked up a lot. I've, you know, I, you know, people see that I'm young, like, doing really, really well for myself, literally don't have to worry about money. Honestly, if I didn't want to probably for the rest of my life, but you know, I've, I've been trying to do this for a really long time and, and it feels, 
honestly at first it's like oh my god you know like the first thing i did was i think i was maybe a few months away from uh spring break so i you know booked a ticket to miami i actually came out to miami for spring break that first time i i hit that 50k month uh spent like four grand in one week <laughs> which is pretty pretty crazy um wasn't even 21 at the time so uh yeah i showed up to clevelander i had to you know pay pay the bouncer yeah, real I, quick but <laughs> fun, fun happens at the clevelander in fact Sometimes I don't even remember what kind of fun happened there because yeah. it wasn't that much fun. But let yeah. me ask you this question, Zen. All joking aside, let's talk about if you had the choice to have any superpower, what would it be and why? Um, telekinesis. I think about this all the time. Telekinesis. I want to be able to just – maybe this comes down to me being a control freak. I don't know. But I, I, I want to be able to fly. I think that's one thing. I would love to be able to fly. And so you could technically – lift whatever you're on to be able to fly or maybe your clothes and fly so that's kind of a double whammy and also like who wouldn't want to just be lounging on like a chair or like in their bed and just like want something and like just grab it and it comes to your hand i don't know um like, like the bean gray of amazon is what you're yeah saying. yeah that'd be sick yeah <laughs> we we i branded myself as the jedi master so maybe more like the force but uh yeah right yeah absolutely so let me ask you this much you're 22 you've accomplished a lot you still have a lot to go i mean obviously you're extremely young you're you're like a pup pretty much yeah, but yeah, I'm young. what's the single biggest challenge that you've had coming into amazon i know a lot of people are out there they make excuses and they try to say like i can't afford amazon or i don't yeah. have the skill set or anything what kind of challenges early on did you have that kind of relate to people out there so this is probably the realest piece of advice. Um, and also, you know, I had to deal with it myself. It's yourself. You know, it's, it's literally your, your limiting beliefs and your bad habits. You know, um, you're not, I mean, Liz, you were just talking about how you wake up at 5 a.m. every day. Uh, you've created an amazing life for yourself because you're doing what literally 99% of people are not willing to give up, which is their sleep. You know, like I know so many people that want to snooze till as much as, you know, as late as they can in the day. So for me, it was definitely myself. You know, uh, I was pretty lazy growing up. I was never super dedicated or super like hardworking or anything. And, I, you know, I had, a I, again, I was trying to be an entrepreneur and succeed, you know, since I was like 12, I'd done so many different things. And I realized like one of my biggest issues was like, I just couldn't fully like close the loop. You know what I'm saying? You start something and then you get discouraged and then you just leave it and you quit. Right. And so when I finally succeeded with Amazon, I, I told myself, and that was really my first real success. I told myself, Zan, you know what? No matter what, and I think I got this from Thinking Grow Rich. It was like uh, a winner never quits and a quitter never wins. So I told myself, Zan, I'm going to do whatever the fuck it takes. I'm willing to hit zero, like literally like a negative ba like bank balance. And I'm just going to not quit. Like, I don't care how bad it gets. I'm going to wake up on the right time. I'm going to put in the work. I'm not going to go to sleep early. I'm not going to whine, bitch, complain. I just told myself, I'm not going to be the person that gets in the way of myself, which is, I think everyone is always doing that to themselves, you know? Like, just like you said, oh, I don't have enough money to get an Amazon. Full shit. You had enough money to go party last weekend, right? Like, like you had enough money to go and buy that, like, double macchiato latte or whatever. So it's just a matter of priorities, right? Right, absolutely. And I know that you said that you had some Facebook background too, and that's obviously helped you, uh, but it took you a lot of time to master that. Um, what skills, and it might be that, but what skills do you feel that um, someone needs out there in order to become an Amazon seller? Um, I think the biggest one is just being coachable. I know maybe that's not too much of a skill, but um, it's really, like, if you take the time to learn, it's really not that hard. I mean, you know, we were joking about how some people who aren't very, that's very smart, right? Dummies um, and how they're killing it. They're making millions, right? So it really is just about, I think, being dedicated, you know, being coachable, learning. The hard skills that I've learned, honestly, are buyer psychology, understanding how people think and what they want. Like one rule that you can always, you know, go with for the rest of your life, guys, is like people hate to be sold, but they love to buy. You know, they hate to be told you should buy this, but they love to be recommended things. They love to just go out and get that dopamine release from buying. Um, so really just buyer psychology, really understanding how people buy. Um, cause then, I mean, it's, it's super easy to get someone to buy, right? Like nowadays, all it takes to push someone to your website is you go, you click a couple buttons, you put an image up and you say, Hey, go to this link. Right. Um, that's how easy it is. So I would say the first thing, buyer psychology, really understanding how and why people buy. Um, and then the second thing is honestly, like just being able to understand traffic, right. Pushing 
uh, uh, visitors to a website, uh, right? Like running Facebook ads or Google ads. Honestly, you can hire that out, find somebody through Upwork that can do it. So that's a pretty valuable skill. Uh, and then the last thing I would say is just people skills, you know, just really understanding people, going out there, meeting people, learning from others. Um, those skill sets are just so valuable. You'll, be, you, you'll become successful in anything if you have those skills. Right. And obviously, Zan being super nice because the dummy he was referring to earlier was me. <laughs> we just we had this conversation about, I don't, about me. I don't think she's a dummy, but. <laughs> so that just goes to show you kids out there that you can learn and do anything you want in your life as long as you know that it's possible in your mind. And that's exactly that. the kind of attitude that I take and that Zan does too. Like he, we were just talking about this earlier. Um, now, one other question, Zan, I know we were talking about earlier, giving reusable gift uh, bags as gifts, which is a no-no, but what's the last gift you actually gave someone? Or maybe what's the gift, the next gift you're gonna give someone since tomorrow or today, if you're seeing this video is Valentine's Day. Yeah, so the actual last gift I got someone um, was I actually got my parents an all ex all inclusive stay at a resort. Um, so that was a pretty good one. Um, I don't know if I want to give away what I'm going to give tomorrow, <laughs> but, 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 um, I have no, too many though. viewers in, I have too many yeah. viewers. No, you have too many viewers. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, Liz, like straight up one of my team members, Sammy, he's my head digital media marketer. He was like fangirling when he, when he found out that he met you. He was like, yeah, I knew oh I like that kid. That's, yeah. that's a, that, I like that dude. Thumbs up for him. <laughs> yeah, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. He, is. he, he um, seems like it. But he was like, dude, like, like Hurricane, like Liz was like the first entrepreneur I actually like watched online. Um, <laughs> so that's sick. That, that's, that's cool how everything came full circle. Yeah, super amazing. So yeah, you could tell he was really nice and he did come up to me and he was smiling and I was like, I couldn't understand why he was smiling so much, but now I know <laughs> I the real reason. busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so Zan, I know, I know you got very little time because you're busy working on your, all your Amazon businesses. So one last question for you, and this is an important one because this is really what I like to ask people, that way they can encourage others to get out there and start their Amazon business. But what do you say to the people that are out there struggling to start their Amazon business or just not certain it's something that they want to do? What kind of advice do you give to those people? For sure. So I think the first thing that they're doing that's amazing is they're watching you. Um, guys, continuously learn from the people that have done it before you, right? Like the roadmap is there. And as much as like it might seem like bullshit, like, oh, why does this person want to help me? Or does this person is really the, the real deal? I'm telling you, first of all, absolutely Liz is the real deal. She taught me a bunch in, in a call before this. Um, maybe we'll have a talk about that one day. Um, and then two is honestly, it really just comes down to what you believe is possible. You know, it, it, it's crazy. Like, you know, you know, you guys might look at me and say, Oh, it's a 22 year old. He's a millionaire. He's doing all these things. Like what? Like fuck this guy. Right. But there's 16 year olds that are making millions of dollars right now. Right. There's a 12 year old that's teaching a class in Harvard. So, you know, the things to think about is like, you really just got to learn how to understand the belief systems that you hold in your head and really just promise yourself that if you want a different life, like some people are cool with the lives that they have, you know, whatever they're working in nine to five, they're cool with it. That's fine. But if you're the kind of person that like, you really aren't happy with where you're at at life, you know that there's more for yourself, continue to learn from the people like Liz, invest in coaches and mentors, find people that know what you do not and literally just pay to be in the same rooms as them, pay them, learn from them, soak up their knowledge. Um, and then honestly, just never quit, you know, never quit. I, I love this quote. It's like the winner is simply just the loser that tried one more time. And that is like, so true. I don't know if Liz agrees with that. Yeah. Like, love it. I absolutely yeah. love it. That was uh, just epic advice. And thanks so much again for being on here. Now, for those of you guys that want, Zan does actually offer services. Like he helps people rank products. You want to tell people a little bit more about the things that you actually do aside from your, your Amazon business? Yeah, for sure. So obviously we do a lot on Amazon. We do quite a bit on Shopify. Um, and we have coaching programs that we've dialed in for people throughout the process um, to learn about how to master specific segments of the business. So a uh, really big program that we've had over 100 people go through outstanding results is called Rank One, where we actually teach uh, Amazon sellers how to master ranking and reviews on Amazon to get from that six figure a month to seven figures. Um, and also for the people that are literally doing only a thousand a month or something, we help them get to that same transformation that I was able to do 
to go from like a thousand, like 50,000 a month. Um, and again, we talk about it all the time. It's literally just mastering ranking and reviews. So we do that. Uh, we just rolled out another program called Zonly, which is a program that teaches people how to master scaling off of Amazon uh, and building their own Shopify store and running Facebook ads to their brand. Um, because, you know, obviously you never want to be a one legged stool. And if you just consider yourself an Amazon seller, I, I say that's a no, no, because all it takes is for someone to screw with you one time, account goes down, ASIN goes down. Great. You just went from X million to like nothing right overnight. But if you own your customers, you have a standalone store, you'll be fine. It'll hurt, but it'll be more like getting a leg cut off instead of, you know, getting shot in the head. So. Awesome. Amazing, Zan. So I'm going to make sure to put that information below in the description yeah, in case you guys want to ask him any <laughs> questions or have comments for him. I'll make sure I get him, put him in a headlock and make sure that he answers all this. You don't have to put me in a headlock, Liz. Anytime you need anything, you let me know. I'll be there. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, Liz is literally just such a beacon of positive energy. Like it, it's amazing. Anywhere she goes, people are like, she's the person to be around. And Honestly, like I can tell you right now for a fact, um, meeting you has definitely changed a lot of my perspectives on life and you've added so much value to my life. So anything I can do for you, you let me know. Uh, that's, that's wonderful, Zen. Thanks so much. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate Absolutely. you coming on here. So again, thanks so much for joining us. And as you guys can see, 22 year old crushing it on Amazon. I'm looking forward to seeing a follow up video to see where this guy is in a year's time. I, I'm pretty sure he's going to be way up there and hopefully he gets down here in miami we will have some fun for sure that'll be fun but thanks again zen i'll see y'all in the next video awesome thank you so much liz bye now